Okay, folks. Um, today. Okay, so today is going to be a little lesson in fire prevention. Okay? So, if there's anything you ever go on YouTube and look at, whether it's road rage drivers, uh, people showing how to do something, um, stupid funny videos, people doing stupid stuff, whatever, watch this video. This will probably, at some point, save your life down the road. If you own, you know, and, and this is the thing, if you own any upright uh, dryer, or front, excuse me, front load dryer, um, I can't speak for any other brands, but I can speak for Samsung. Um, I do this about once a year. I go into my dryer, take it apart. Um, it's relatively easy to do. Um, I don't have a disassembly video right now. I just want to, this video is going to be focusing on fire prevention. Okay. Um, so here it is. This is what I'm going to show you. And, and when you see this and you know, I clean this thing out once a year and, uh, <laughs> I can only imagine what this these look like in some people's houses because I imagine they've probably never cleaned them out uh, and their house is burnt down and they wonder why. Well, here's the reason. So, what you have here is the guts of a Samsung, uh, this is the, the steam version, Samsung, uh, front load washing machine which actually I just cleaned some uh, the washing machine I just cleaned out some mold and mildew from the uh, soap dispenser it was caked with uh, mold and mildew but <laughs> the the dryer is it, it's it I mean look at this it's it's a fire <laughs> it's a fire waiting to happen I mean it, it Look at this, folks. <laughs> the thing could self-destruct, explode at any time. You know, obviously when you're, you know, when you're using it. So the reason why this thing is going crazy because I've got, the, I've got the top of the dryer sitting on top of the washing machine. So that, you know, these things violently shake whenever they're on high spin mode. Anyway, they work pretty good, but that's another story. But this, my friends, <laughs> this, this is, okay, so, this is the heating element. You, so, you can already see where, it's getting kind of brown. Um, you know, the, the lint that is collected on this thing, you know, it's, it's looking like it's wanting to start some heated fire. You know. And, you know, this is not because we don't have a long duct vent or we don't clean our duct vent. I clean that out every, about every two months and keep it spotless, you know. So, but, you know, if you ever wonder why some of your, if you ever wonder why some of your clothing articles get missing, uh, or if you ever wonder why some of your socks get missing, it's because the... There's, there's, okay, so there's a belt that goes around the drum. The drum's out of this thing. I've already took it out. I'll show you that in a minute. But there's a, a felt that goes around the back and the felt piece that goes around the front. And sometimes these felt pieces get damaged up in a bind, kinked, and, and clothes and articles of clothing can actually go, I mean, look at this. We have bobby pins down here. We've got all kinds of stuff. And here's the motor. And... But things can get caught and, and, and end up in the bottom of your dryer, okay? That's the reason why the lint's here. And I have relatively new uh, felt gaskets. So, you know, here's the front of the thing. And and this is the this is the drum. You know, it's a piece of cake to take it out. You just take the front off and 
take a couple more things off and the, the drum comes out of it. And, uh, but see the, the felt? Good. Felt? Good. I mean, there's some lint right there, but yeah. So, I may post a video of putting the thing back together. I just don't have time today to post a video of taking it apart. Um, but I'm going to clean it with a combination of a um, vacuum cleaner. Yeah, this nice Dyson here, which can suck the golf ball through a garden hose, so to speak, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, and I will probably have to bring in my air compressor. So, yeah, air compressor. I suck it and I blow it. Yeah, so it'll be spotless when I'm done. It'll be like a brand new one. But this is what it looks like the before. I'm going to show you the... I'll show you the after, but this is the before. So, good God, there's there's <laughs> there's lint inside the the motor. There's lint all over the motor. There's God knows what else in here. I mean, this stuff is is fine. You know, this stuff here is fine. It's all good. I mean, you know, that could probably damage the motor over time. Yada 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 yada. But what what you really want to look at is this. This is where heat has started to brown some of this uh, lint, and and over time, folks, that's gonna that's gonna catch fire. I mean, look inside the thing. <laughs> There's your elements. That's what turns red hot when you got it running. But uh, yeah, fire prevention 101. When I clean it up, I'll I'll show you. I'll catch you later.